What's up, YouTube? This is Wizards Day Two One here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix any errors that iTunes is giving you when you're trying to downgrade firmwares. So this will work on pretty much any version of iOS, whether that be 4.3.4 or 4.2.9, or anything in the future to come, or any previous versions of iOS. This is all universal. This will all work the same, just like downgrading. So I'm pretty much going to go start to finish on how to finish, how to fix any error that iTunes gives you. I'm going to fix the most common errors as well as some of the lesser common errors. For Windows users, there's one extra error that you may get, and or not really error, but some sort of recognition recognition issue with iTunes. So we're going to do that one first, and that is when you try to uh, shift click restore button and the firmware doesn't appear in iTunes. That is because you must have downloaded it with Internet Explorer, Microsoft Internet Explorer. I'm just going to go ahead and open up Parallels now for you guys. And what Internet Explorer does is it if it doesn't recognize a file, it just gives up because it's lazy and just turns it into a zip. And in this case, it doesn't recognize IPSW files, which are the software that you need to restore your device to. And because of that, iTunes doesn't recognize it because it's in a zip. Now, if you try to go ahead and extract that as an IPSW, it still doesn't work. For some reason, I don't know why. Windows is stupid. So the point I'm trying to get across here is go ahead and download a that IPSW with a different browser such as Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera, whatever. Or you can go ahead and choose an alternative route and download that IPSW with IPSW Downloader, which is actually, I think, a bit faster. But if you don't want to install a new program, then you don't have to do it. You could just go ahead and do it from the same website here. It's got all the IPSWs, like I said, but do it from not don't do it from Internet Explorer. Very simple. The next error we're going to discuss is error 20. Now, error 20 for Windows has a different process of fixing it than for Mac. Of course, Mac is much easier, but for Windows, it's a bit more involved because I'm sure you have some sort of antivirus software or whatever. But the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is open up the control panel, and we're going to turn off the system firewall. So go to your system and security. Go ahead and click on Windows firewall. And all I got to do is click on turn Windows Firewall on and off and set both of these things to off. Very simple, just like that. The only other thing you have to note is that if you do have some sort of third-party antivirus software installed, you're going to go ahead and have to disable that firewall as well because both firewalls will probably just mess everything up. So just go ahead and disable all your firewalls. The next error we're going to discuss is the most common error, which is error 3194. Now... This is kind of the same for um, Windows and Mac, Tiny Umbrella. What you're going to go ahead and do is download Tiny Umbrella. I'm going to show you that link right here. Open up Safari. And you're going to get Tiny Umbrella from this website. Uh, it says OS 10, that's for Mac. And Windows, that's for Windows. So what you're going to do is go ahead and find Tiny Umbrella in your applications. Mine is right there. I'm just going to show you uh, with the Mac version because the Mac and Windows versions of Tiny Umbrella are pretty much identical. So I'm just going to go ahead and load that up there. And there we go. Once that opens up, what you're going to go ahead and do is connect your device if you haven't already done so already because I'm sure you're probably watching this because you're getting errors. And you're going to just click on the general tab and you will see the SHSH blobs that you have saved. Now note, if you don't know what SHSH blobs are or if you've never jailbroken before, but again, if you've never jailbroken before, most likely this tutorial or any other downgrading tutorial will not work for you because downgrading tutorials require SHSH blobs in order to get things running. What I'm going to show you to fix error 3194 is pretty much just showing you um, what could be causing that error if you do have SHSH blobs. So anyway, moving on, here I've got my iPhone or my iPod plugged in, and it shows all my SHSH blobs. So what this means is that I've got blobs for iOS 4.2.1. So if I have to, I can go ahead and downgrade to 4.2.1 because I've got the blobs for it. Next thing you want to note is if you're still getting the error, even though you're trying to downgrade to a firmware where you do have blobs for, make sure all these boxes are checked. Because if not all the boxes are checked, then something, it may not be connecting to the proper um, SSH blob server or Sidious server. The next thing that could be causing it is if you improperly modified your host file. What I mean by this is if you do not, if you did not properly uh, plug in or paste these two IP addresses into the host file, then make sure you paste in two, 
make sure you paste in both, I should say, then it probably won't connect. The other thing is if it if you put a hash symbol or if there is a hash symbol or hash or pound symbol, I hope ScreenFill picks up on this again. Um, it looks like that, the number symbol pretty much. Um, if you put those before this, Windows will not recognize it. It'll say, oh, this is just a commented out line. I'm going to ignore this. You want to make sure that there is no hash or pound or number symbol before those two IP addresses, okay? And that hopefully should fix error 3194. And if you're still getting it, like I said, you have to be you have to have SHSH blobs. Moving on, we're going to talk about error 1015, error 1013, error 1014, error 1600, all those errors right there. Now that it could be uh, the cause of something that happens to some devices where you can only restore to custom firmware. You cannot restore to stock firmware. To fix this, what we have to do is make a custom stock a custom firmware with the newest version of Snowbreeze. Now you can go ahead and get Snowbreeze from this web website. Just go ahead and go to this website here. All links will be in the video description for any of these websites. And just go ahead and click download and that will download. We're gonna just go ahead and find that. Mine's right here. Go ahead and make sure you have extracted that folder before you run the program. Cause I'm sure Windows will tell you that before you even do so. Go ahead and run the pro program. You see mine is loading up right here and just press OK All right, and close the credits and next what we're going to go ahead and do is click the next arrow and here's what we're gonna do we're gonna browse for an IPSW I have some saved on the um, Mac where is it it's probably this one. Oh, there it is we have some saved on my Mac so we're gonna go ahead 4.3.3 it's gonna go ahead and identify the IPSW here we go, iPad Touch 3G. Just go ahead and click next. Choose expert mode, it's just um, a bit more advanced. And you don't have to touch anything here, but if you wanna go ahead and enable the battery percentage, you can go ahead and do so. And everything else, just leave at the defaults. And then click build IPSW. And it's gonna build an IPSW for you. And if you're really bored, you can play Pac-Man for you. Now once that is done, what you're going to go ahead and do is restore it to that custom firmware. You will see that it puts it on your desktop. It'll say custom firmware or set of iOS 4.3.3 or whatever it is with custom firmware. And you're gonna go ahead and restore to that because that will fix those errors. The next thing we're going to talk about is errors almost during the restore process or after the restore process is done. Say you've seen that bar go all the way across the screen, the one that comes up on your iPod, iPad or iPhone per se, you see that bar come up and it loads all the way across the screen, no problems, but then after that process you get an error. Now that error says that iTunes isn't letting you downgrade because it's not supposed to let you downgrade, but the the IPSW has still been installed on your device, but your iPhone, iPad, or iPad, iPod is still stuck in recovery mode. So in order to get it out, that's where RecBoot comes in handy. RecBoot looks like this almost. It's a bit less, um, it's a bit kind of a more broken down than the Mac version, but it's still RecBoot. So all you gotta do is open up the RecBoot folder and just go into exit, double click on that. And you will see it'll bring up this run command and it'll bring up the command prompt. And what it'll do is it'll try to kick out any connected devices out of recovery mode. It's as simple as that. The next thing to note is that if you get an error like uh, that you can't, that rec boot is not fixing, what you have to do is do a hard reset. And what that means is you hold, is you hold the home and the sleep wake buttons simultaneously until the Apple logo appears on the screen. And that should fix any other issues like your device is not bricked or anything like that. That should fix that. That should take it out of recover mode. The only thing is if you do have to do that, most likely the downgrade process didn't work. I should have mentioned that before. So anyway, guys, that's about it for all the errors that um, kind of covered. I tried to cover all of them. Uh, if there are any more errors that you guys are getting, these are the most common ones, like I said. Just um, leave me a comment below. Tell me what error you're getting. I'll try to do some more research to try to fix all these errors. But like I said, if you're getting error 3194 or if you're getting um, the iPod isn't eligible for the cust is not eligible for this build or whatever it is, then that means that you have to have SSSX blobs and you don't. And you've gone through this video and you've done everything right and you still... Don't, whatever. You could also um, contact me on Twitter at Daniel J. Stein or just leave me a comment in this video or send me a YouTube inbox. Anything if you need help. But for now on, 
for now, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.